Welcome to Tech Talks with Nagios. I'm Brian Heaton, the PHP developer here. I'm Trevor McDonald, support team manager. All right, Trevor, I've got an interesting question for you. Go for it. What is the best practice for managing your Nagios configuration? So we get a lot of questions like this, um, particularly for people who are just starting out. Maybe they've ran a few wizards. Maybe they've looked at the core config manager, for example. They see all of these configs and they, they're kind of worried. They don't know what the best practice is. And what I usually tell people is that the best practice is that you're consistent, that you document your process, and that you follow that documentation. There are several ways to associate a service with a host. You can have one entry for each service, for each host. So if you have 10 hosts that need to be monitored by a, you know, for a CPU, you have 10 services. Another way you could do it is you could have one service that's attached to 10 hosts, or you could put those 10 hosts in one host group and assign that service to that host group. Same result, right? They're all getting monitored the same way. It's just different ways of managing those configs. Now, what I will say is that in XI, uh, when you use a wizard, the default is to create one service for each thing that needs to be monitored on a given host. So if you run 10 website URL wizards, you're going to end up with 10 hosts and 10 services for whatever you're monitoring. That's just the way XI does it. Um, you're certainly welcome to do it any other way, but the key point is consistency. Something to keep in mind when, you, when you're when you adding a service to potentially a lot of hosts is that adding it specifically to the host group is going to save you an awful lot of time in the future if you ever need to make a change to that service. If you can imagine going through 10,000 hosts and changing the service for each one, uh, that could be a little time consuming, but if you have just associated a service with a host group, then you can go and make that one change, apply your configuration, and boom, you're yep. done. Yeah, just, and just adding a new host is just as easy as dropping it into that host group. It picks up the service or services that are on that host group. Um, personally, that's the way I like to do it. Um, there are you know, hotly debated uh, different methods of, of doing so. Really, just whatever works for your environment, pick one, stick with it, and We'll be happy. At the end of the day, the best practice is what's easiest for you yes. and your organization. Yep. Consistency, documentation. Templates? Templates. Use templates. Use templates. Use templates. Yes. Also, probably always a best practice. Yeah. We don't need to explain templates, right? No. No, of course not. It's another FAQ. We do need to explain templates. We do need to explain templates. <laughs> right. Another day. My name's Brian. My name's Trevor. Thanks for joining us today with Tech Talks with Nagios.